What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zell, and I'm back with another video. And it's not a vlog. It's not a. It's not a vlog. Zell, what you what you doing? It's not a vlog. Why why are you posting this on your channel? It's because I'm here to talk about my top five, top five, top five, top five pet peeves in the HBCU band world. If you don't know what an HBCU is, it's a historically black college and university. So, you know, like Norfolk or Southern or Morgan State or Tuskegee or, you know, all, all them other, you know, black colleges and universities, man. You should look into that. If you're not at an HBCU right now, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now, before I get into that, go subscribe. Go share it. Go tell your auntie, your fine aunties. I don't want no ugly aunties in my DMs talking about, hey, baby, how you doing? No, 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 no. I want your fine auntie. The fine auntie that could cook me some mac and cheese when I want it. That fine auntie that's going to go out to satellite. With, hey, psh. <laughs> if you're from Richmond, you know about satellite. I need that auntie that's gonna go to satellite and bring me some wings back. And she just gonna need her feet rubbed. Anyway, 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 <laughs> anyway. Let's get into the video. Pet peeve number one. I really hate, I really, really, really hate when somebody in a bigger band think that small band is not good because they small. What makes you say like, oh, they got 75 people in their band. They're not good. Meanwhile, I got 250, 250 plus in my band and we better than y'all. <sighs> mm, let's think about that. You got 250 in your band, right? Let's take away about 25 for auxiliary, right? Now, let's take away for the people that don't make checkoffs. Now, let's take away for the people that's just there holding that horn and not doing nothing. They not nothing. They not nothing. Now, you, you left with about 150. Right? Right, right. <laughs> Let's just say 150. Y'all are big, but y'all not nice. Y'all are not nice. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Like, when a big band say a small band is not nice, like, bro, what is, what is y'all, what's your purpose, bro? Like, y'all can't say nothing. That's like me saying... The left Twix is better than the right Twix. Bitch, it's a fucking Twix. It's a fucking, it's a Twix, my nigga. Like, it's a band, bruh. Just because y'all are big don't mean y'all are good anyway. I hate that. And anyway. Pet peeve number two. Say we in the fifth quarter or we had a battle, you know. And you play a song. That opposing band plays a song. And then the drum major call that same song right back. I hate that. Oh my God. Why are we playing that song that they just played right back at them? What is the purpose? What? Why? 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 That, sh that is the stupidest thing. All right, my high school band director, he told me, he told me, if they play neck, we not playing neck next. We gonna play something else, then we gonna play neck, cause then they gonna think we don't got it in our book. Oh my gosh. That shit is smart as fuck. Smart as fuck. Smart, like, They gonna be like, they don't got it in their book. Ah, uh, yes we do. <laughs> like, ah, surprise, 
bitch. Play something else. Play like two, three songs in between before you throw that same song right back at them. That shit is so smart. When I become a fucking band director, bro, I'm not doing that shit. You not about to see me, I right, we playing Dirty Diana right back at them. Why? Why? Like, why? Pet peeve number three. Trey Club, Trey Club, Trey Club. Um, I really hate when a band is playing and then another band try to play on top. I understand you trying to show that you could crank up on them, but I'm trying to hear what the fuck they gotta play. Like, why why can't y'all just wait like a minute and a half so I can hear what the fuck they got to say through their instruments? You don't you don't know what I'm talking about? I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Something. I'm talking about like why why like I just want to hear what's going on I got a good musical ear but I don't know who's missing notes over in this band because this band trying to crank up on them like wait come on now like stop it please in the band work stop stop pet peeve number four You can't talk shit if you're not good on your instrument, bruh. Why are you talking shit? You talking shit is literally like, what? I will look at you like you're, I don't wanna say that. I don't wanna say that. I don't want my video taken down. I will look at you like you are stupid as fuck. If you tell me I can't play, and then you definitely can't play, because I know I can play. Now, you can talk your shit to me, because it's people that talk shit, and you just got to talk your shit back. But if you talk shit and you can't back it up because you're trash on your instrument, why, bro? Why? Why even do it? Like, you just... Is you stupid? <laughs> Pet peeve number five. Number five, and this is the biggest one of them all. Just because your band is louder does not mean your band is good. Praise him. <laughs> Like, okay, your band could be loud and wrong and spitting hot garbage out they bells. This band could be little, cranking up just a little bit. Musicality through the roof, but apparently that band gonna be like, 
Like, you can't do that, bro. The band is small. Your band is big. That goes back to pet peeve number one. Pet, that goes back to pet peeve number one, bro. But just because your band is loud, it could be loud and wrong. Loud and hot garbage. Loud and just wrong notes every two seconds because y'all trying to crank and y'all can't crank and you don't got crankers, but, but you're worried about being loud. You're worried about being loud instead of fixing your musicality. How'd that work? Huh? T tell me how that worked. Comment down below, tell me how that worked. Just because you loud, you good. Let me know how that, tell me, right now, go ahead. Go go ahead, right there, down below, just scroll up a little bit, and then you're gonna be right there in the comment section. Tell me right there, go ahead, I'll be waiting. Exactly, you can't, you can't tell me, bruh. You can't. Anyway, that was a quick video. My top five pet peeves of the HBCU band world. It really won't much, but it's the little things that count, man. So, I want everybody to share this with your band friends. Share this with people that's in band. Share this with everybody. Share this with band directors. I don't care. I, I don't care. Tell them how Zell feel. Tell them. But like I was saying earlier, subscribe, right? It's down below. Just like, all you gotta do is subscribe. Just boop. And then you gotta click that notification bell. Cause you wanna know when I drop in videos, right? You wanna know? Thank you. So, comment down below. Like the video. Share it with your aunties. Fine aunties. You already know what I'm talking about. If you watch the video, you know what I'm talking about. But thanks for watching, and you know how it go. Peace, bloop, smoothie.